Hello everybody and welcome back to my No Torches Run of Darkest Dungeon. So I have decided to do this mission. It's a cleanse mission, medium, level 5. Because reasons. No, but doing a short one will give us less money. And also we can't get the buffs from resting. So it's not necessarily easier to do than a medium one. So I have to decide if I want to do the exploration or the combat. I guess we can do the exploration because I'm going to bring the ancestors map on the bounty hunter to get scouting chance. So I will bring Hotot our Arbalest, Grey our Plague Doctor, we pont our bounty hunter and then pont our crusader. This is a strong squad, all these guys are level 6. Because I am almost out of money. We have two guys with tapeworm though, so we need to bring a lot of food. Anything else? Yeah, so I used the legendary bracer on the arbalest, so her speed is zero, which is really bad. But I'm thinking we have three guys that can use stunts, so it doesn't really matter too much about this speed because if you stun, the monsters, she, she will be able to act before them anyways. And we have three guys that can off heal, so we should be kind of fine. So let's just go with exploration instead. So, since they have tapeworm, I will bring four stacks of food, plus two for the first rest. Yeah, it's a bit of an all-in again, but that's fine. Do I want to use holy water or something? Uh, not really. Mm. So, <laughs> I mean, you. But usually, I get food. Surplus food since you can't eat too much, but um, screw it, let's go. Come on, come on. The smell of rotting fish is almost unbearable. All right, so the scouting buff will make no sense since we have to go through all these rooms anyway but yeah whoops the darkness holds much worse than mere trickery and boogeymen so eat some food 12 time units less likely to be surprised do you want to increase scout chance even more than 50% I'm not sure if we really need it. Remove one target disease. We could remove someone's tapeworm here. If we want to. Hmm. Restream crossbow. Increase accuracy and damage. Sure. Seven more time units. If I use scout ahead, I will have four time units left. But uh, I'm not sure if it's really worth it. It's because this map, I mean, it feels like an overkill to get this as well. So let's just go with increasing the accuracy and crit for someone instead, maybe? Or the stress resist increase. I mean, I could increase the stress resist of everyone be nice or use marching plan to get speed buff and then unbreakable leader yeah let's go with the marching plan and then we have four more unbreakable leader I think it's the best we can do if we don't want to use 
accuracy and crit buff on someone. Most of these guys have accuracy buff already, so... Yeah, let's just go with Unshakable Leader. In Radiance, may we find victory. And let's remove Battle Heal and have the AoE attack since no one is hurt right now. What else can we do? I think most of the other stuff is alright. Yep, we are ready to move out finally. And now, the darkness holds dominion. Black as death. Let's go. Empty sack. Damn it. <laughs> Look at that stress. 23 stress. With a singular purpose. Right, so much for the scouting chance. I should have taken that. Hmm. We'll hit 100 stress before even finding a fight here. Need to get some money at least so we can. Do you have anything that's increasing the stress? Not really. Right, you dodge the trap at least. I guess I could go with Inspiring Cry. Stress heal. That would give us Torch though, but yeah. You can always snuff it later. It's a fight. We surprised them, so that's good. Because now the Arbalest will definitely move before these guys. Mm, damage increase against stunned. I'm tempted to do that. Let's do it. The onslaught. Destroy them all. <laughs> I could stun them even more. Ah well, let's just hit them. Give them no quarter. Come on, decrease the stress. Thank you. As the fiend falls, this guy will a have the chance to act, blossoms. and he will most likely act twice. Ah, we have speed buff, so I guess that's okay. Let's get some light. Okay, he's moving now. 24 non crit. Yeah. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Okay. So, uh, this seems to be a legit thing to interact with. I guess it removed stress that I didn't have. Oh well. I need to eat some though. You as well. I brought this food for a reason. Okay. A map. Perfect. But I don't think the map shows us what's in this corridor, so we can still get the trap or a fight here. Ah, you're fine. Oh, is your trap disarming? Not very good, that's for sure. Let's just use you. Even if uh, you don't have any stress to remove, I think it's better. Okay, well, I'm not going for any bosses and I don't have a torch. So, I read the good news, some good news. What the? About um, Darkest Dungeon, and that's. I was talking about um, a patch coming up with another hero, uh, a shapeshifter. So it's coming up thirtieth, um, the last November, I think. They're supposed supposed to release the next patch, so you get a shapeshifter. So. Hopefully I will make, uh, I will clear the cove before that, so we can just uh, start leveling up 
that guy instead. You have good bleed resist, so. Um, so that will be interesting to see how he fare. Okay, we have a room battle. And then the corridor battle. Alright, look at this. We are surprising them left and right. This stress level makes me think I should almost focus on the witch. Let's go with uh, finish him. Bonus damage against stun, why not just use it? You can stun this fish, I don't like his damage. And then an AoE attack. Missed her? Maintain the offensive. That's bad. So you most likely have a chance to do a stress attack here. Mortality clarified in a single strike. All right. All right. They're really screwing around here. Could try to stun this guy. Um, stun her again. We'll keep him out of uh, harm's way. Um, I think I need to use your heal here. So I can use my uh, Crusader to do damage. Uh, this can be a kill. It's not a guarantee though. Screw it. Right. No bleed at least. Blind fire isn't the best ability. Try to stun her. I mean, this guy will get to death's door anyway, so... Hit the corpse. Congratulations. Whew. Yeah. I would have liked to have that... AoE attack right about now. Damn it, hit the fish. Kill this guy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Blind fire. Oh wow, you hit someone at least. Plague grenade. It's not very good when we get to death's door this early. Brought low and driven into the mud. That was like not even a hard fight. But I mean, one uh, one crit and you're done for in this game. So you need to get that heal. I'm thinking we should replace these two items so you will get a toughness ring, get some protection or something, I'm not sure if it's worth it though, since like I said you will most likely get to death's door anyway for one hit, but still. Alright, so one corridor battle and then two empty rooms. I want you to eat some more food though. Oh boy. 
Oh boy. We need to land this. Yeah, you are going down, sir. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. This is bad. Right. Who have moved? Who haven't? What? No, that wasn't the stun. Damn it. Damn it. Well, that's a crit heal. Not so bad that I didn't use a stun. <sighs> and 16 damage with an arranged attack. Right. Let's uh, hope we get a crit here. Well struck. We did. I could have killed the one in the front if I knew that would crit. Oh well. Let's use a stun on this guy. We need to keep the chance of them uh, two crits in a row. Alright. So now we can't die this turn at least. Screw it. I'm playing for time here. Not that I have anyone that can do a lot of healing. Well, I guess you can heal three hit points. Not really worth it. Twenty damage. <laughs> right. Land this down, please. This guy up. Three mm. HP. I'm afraid of uh, letting him live more and get the stress increase. Bonus speed, minus move Push resist. The tasks end. Right. Let's hope you can survive one hit at least. But we are running out of food. All these uh, food prompts in the beginning kind of screwed us over. I think I need to... I'm not sure how this works. Well, I lost some health here, but I mean, if it's like the bounty hunter needs to carry the the map because he has he should at least have the highest scouting chance, and I'm not sure how it works. I'm not sure what to use with this. Healing! Okay, I lost the quirk. Or I lost the negative quirk. I was kind of hoping to get some health though. Okay, we can't use any more food. Should have brought more food. Right. So far, so good. It's not very often you find food in these dungeons, that's too bad. I guess if you have the right items, you can interact with some of the things to get more food. Oh, scouting. Alright, so... I think we need to get to this... Or this room, I mean. So... 
Fuck, we should be able to keep two rooms unexplored and still make this mission. I'm hoping. Alright, that's the last time we can eat. We have been really unlucky with uh, the food situation. We have been... Have we have three or four food comps? Okay, now we got the damn battle in the <laughs> corridor. Them at least. Stun that guy. Can we kill anyone? Maybe the one that's stunned. Nope. Should I stun one more? Let's do it. Stun one in front and hope that we can snipe this guy. If we quit, it will be enough. Will the suppressing fire kill this guy? Yeah. Let's use suppressing fire then. Yeah, look at that. He even missed because of that, so that's good. Mm. And the blight on that guy. This guy back here is debuffed, so let's try to kill this guy, yeah, he will die from the blight. Miss, miss, miss! Okay, at least no crit. A heal, or do I want to try to kill him? Let's go for the heal. Great is the weapon that cuts okay, on that's own. bad. Now she can't hit him for sure. Um, it's a 50-50 chance that she will hit him. Damn it. Should have just used battlefield bandage. Oh well. A powerful blow. Mm, stun him, please. Doing a lot of crit heals. <sighs> 50-50, <laughs> this time it hit and crit, so we got some food. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be blight I'm at blight skills, blight resist. Mm. If you get two more food, we will actually be, be able to make it past one more prompt. So that's kind of cool. Would like it if you could sell these uh, items. I don't think you can. But it would make sense. Right, hopefully this is the last fight we have to do. We really need to actually survive a mission. Oh. Let's, let's just pretend we don't need a, any more food. See who has the least health you have. Whoopsie daisy. Why to surprise them and we can stun the ones in the back. This is perfect. Problem is that we do not have anyone that can deal with this guy with the protection and all that stuff. Oh well. Could try to stun him. How high is that chance? Not very high. 44% chance to stun if we hit. Ah, let's just go with an ordinary attack. Do we want to use suppressing fire? Or try to snipe the guy in the back? Let's try to snipe him. Four more damage. Nice. At least he resisted the bleed, so that's good. Oh, we do have our. Damn it, that's the, <laughs> the buff. Um, right. That's bad. 
So this guy has moved, so we can start landing a noxious blast on this guy to stack the lights. Zeus, come hither. Kill him. Trying the stance. I mean, he has the, this nasty buff. Oh, well. Let's just finish him as quick as possible. Which will not be very quick. But as long as you're doing this attack, it, this damage buff this doesn't really matter that much. Could land a suppressing fire. I think it's better to just deal the damage. Oh, Play Doctor has to do the heavy lifting for this. These guys can't do any damage at all. Yeah. Stunned and went back to the back row. Oh, she can still snipe, but uh, she will not get this buff. Plus 20% damage, so she will do a lot less damage now. She should die from the blight now. Yep. It's a lot of money. Woohoo! We made a mission! We made a mission! And we have a key! For the hidden compartment, then we got another key. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just go and check this loot here first. Okay, torch. Congratulations. The torch and the shovel. Right. We will find all manner of great and terrible things. I'm pretty happy with that run. Even if and this is, seems like, oh, we got 20,000, but I spend that so quickly. Hmm, Warrior of Light, not very good. Replaced Natural Eye, seems... I think that Natural Eye increase... is it critical? For ranged? I'm not sure. Weld Adventurer, Stress Resist in the Weld, Wield, whatever. I mean, hmm. I remember days when the sun shone and laughter could be heard from the tavern. How much more do we need to go here before we actually make it to the boss? Look at this. If we make one more in the co, we will most likely. Glug glug. Oh, he's drinking. Uh, we will most likely be able to deal with the boss. So that's pretty cool. What's this? Plus 5% critical melee skills. I'm not sure how that's an ancestral item. I mean, sure, it's good, but is it really that good? Hmm. Minus 30% chance party surprised. Yeah. They're good, but doing long runs are kind of hard. Blight resist. Hmm. I mean, uh, if we these ancestral items, they I think they are really good if you know what you're facing. Like if you know that you will face a boss with the blight attacks, plus fifty percent blight resistance is nice. Mm. At the same time, you could just bring you know, the cleansing crystal. That's just as good, even if you sure you lose a lot of your bleed and blight skills chances here, but. Still. Anyway, in the next episode, I might do this one, level 3 dungeon, with uh, a lower level squad, since I want to level up uh, our Houndmasters. So we'll see, and it should also be easier than doing this one. And the money difference isn't that much. And I don't have enough people to do a low level dungeon. And I don't want to do low level dungeons before because uh, if we get 
this shapeshifter uh, in like what is it two weeks yeah in two weeks we can get a shapeshifter and he will most likely be level zero and then he needs a squad to move out so keeping these guys at low level seems beneficial for me so yeah most likely this one but uh, thanks you guys for watching and i'll see you again next time goodbye